Hey there everybody, what is going on? Sean here with Zero to Income. And in this video, I wanna go over blocks and master blocks. They are very, very cool uh, kind of features to use with system.io, but there are some things you gotta kind of be aware of with them that uh, I'm slowly learning each time I go to use them. Now, uh, one of the things that you gotta keep in mind with blocks and master blocks, first things first, all right, when you're in your system editor and you click uh, anywhere into your site to edit it, you're going to have the editing panel open up. If you click again, you'll have your options where you can add elements and then here is your blocks. Now, when we look at your blocks, from everything from opt-in forms all the way down to testimonials, those are all built in to system.io. Those are available from the get-go, and those are all just tools that you can use when you're building your page. You can just go in there and say, hey, I need a page footer, and go into page footers and, and check those out. Now, this my, my block section right here, this shows up when you start saving blocks. All right, so the, there's a difference between what they call a master block and a block. Now, when you save something as a block, it can be used as many times as you want all the way down your page, which is really, really handy. A master block, on the other hand, it can only be added to a page once. All right. So if I go up here and I, I create a master block out of this button right here, let me show you what happens. We're going to save it. We're going to click on the save button. We're going to call this a test master block. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we click, check this little box right here that says, do you want to create a master block? Say yes. And then it gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. And uh, you just click on create. Okay. So here's the thing. Let's just say I want this button down here again. And I go into my page and I'm like, okay, let me go click on it again. I'm going to go to my blocks. I'm going to go, there's my master blocks. And hmm, what's going on here? I see, I don't know about you guys. If you can see that, there's a little red kind of, you know, uh, a red X, if you will, uh, a red stop. You know, you, you, can't, you can't go forward. <laughs> Do not pass go, right? And the reason being, if you hover over it, Let's go back and, and you know, right, nah, that's not working. Let's go back over here and then hover over it and see how that comes back up. It, it has uh, some help text that comes up. It says, this master block cannot be added on this page because it's, all, it's already there. All right. Now, if I was going to go and create another page and wanted to pop this on the page, that would work. And the beauty of a master block, so that's that's kind of a, a bummer about a master block is, you know, hey, if I want to use this on the page, um, I couldn't. Um, but the beauty of the master block is if I do put it on multiple pages and then I go, like if I make a menu, a master block, that's where this really comes in handy is if I'm using a menu and making that like a master block. Uh, then when I go and put this menu on other pages, maybe I put it uh, in, um, and, and, it's, and if I remember correctly, it is only works per funnel. So I couldn't switch this between um, one funnel that I'm using um, and then create a whole nother funnel and try and use that master block in a, in a whole nother funnel that doesn't work. And it doesn't work going from blog to funnel either. Um, but within the same funnel, I can put this in, uh, on multiple pages. And then when I go and I make a change, it's the change that goes across all pages. Uh, not always, but sometimes there's, there's again, some little things that come up with system that uh, I've reached out to support to, with to let them know and still haven't seen anything come back where I actually have to go to each page, open each page up and save it before the, the changes to a master block chain uh, take effect on those other pages, which is kind of annoying. But uh, in, in the perfect world, when you go and make a change to a master block, it will carry over to all pages. So again, with a master block, it's one per page. So I can't go and use this, as you can tell, I can't go and use this in other places. Now I've created this as just a block, all right? So if I go back up here and I go to my blocks and I go to my blocks, right here is this button that I created. And I can literally grab this and I can drag it anywhere I want. So what I'm gonna do is let's go down here and this is a website that I uh, started with. This is a template that I started with, and I'm, I'm changing each of these sections for this new site that I'm creating. So eventually I will be making, putting this button here, but we're gonna go ahead and show you that right now. We're just gonna drag it right over. And again, notice that blue line. So that what that's telling me is this green button is going to land right above that blue line that just showed up. So the, the blue line should go away. So it went away. And if I go over here, 
I say there, now it would drop it right below that image placeholder. And if I scroll down uh, right there, it would drop the button right above those three image placeholders, right? But what I want to do is I'm going to drop it actually right below that one right there. Okay. And boom, just like that. So you definitely want to be dragging it where you want it. Because if you don't drag it, here's what happens if you just say, let me delete it. So if I just go up here and click on this, it always adds it to the very bottom. And then what you have to do is go and click into it. And then you have to use this up arrow to start moving it wherever you want it. And I don't know, ah, you can grab you can grab it and drag it. Uh, it doesn't always work here. See how the page isn't scrolling up? Uh, that's one of the other challenges that happens when you're when it when it's landed all the way down at the very very bottom is it's very hard if you're trying to get it to the top of the page to get it up there. So you would have to do something like uh, let me pop it in here and then I'd have to drag it again. Uh, actually what I would do is kind of scroll up first and then I would drag it and and hope see it's not scrolling up like I'd like it to. So I'm going to just drop it and I'll you know, scroll up a little bit again and then go up and drag it. So kind of annoying, right? So we're just going to go ahead and delete that completely. Uh, so the, the key is just to go into your blocks, grab it, and, and then drag it over where you want it. One of the other things to keep in mind, if you're creating a funnel that you're going to either be making available, that you're going to sell, and you want these blocks to be available to whoever's going to get the funnel, they don't go over with the funnel. Okay. So what I mean is if I go back and I create a link and say, Hey, this funnel is going to be available. I'm going to sell it. Let's just say I'm going to sell this funnel. Um, once it's all dialed in. Um, but I have, I want to have like all the functionality, all the blocks there for people so they can use them. Uh, one of the challenges that we run into is that, um, the blocks don't go with it. And so you actually have to share it. So when you go to share, as you know, what, what I would do when you go to share a funnel is I would share all the assets with it. And what I mean by that, um, uh, one of the assets would be the button. And so you use the share feature here and copy that to clipboard. And then you, I would just make a document that has all of the assets. So, uh, if you've got, um, buttons that you're sharing, you know, maybe you've got, uh, section blocks that you're sharing. Uh, another thing that, that I like to do with my funnels is I'll have maybe a couple of emails and rather than putting those emails into a Google doc, um, I'll also share those emails from a campaign. Uh, you can do that from system.io as well. So hopefully that's helpful. Everybody, um, down below, if you'd like, uh, we have a link to system.io. And uh, that's our affiliate link. Feel, feel free to grab that if you'd like to sign up for system.io. And then we also have this template that I'm working with right now. That will also be in the uh, description down below. And uh, lastly, what would really, really help us out is if you uh, subscribe to the channel. That does uh, wonders for us and makes YouTube happy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.